to roll the dice. By chance they came on devil's game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. Hi guys, PJ back at it with a quick review for Cuphead. Now Cuphead Build is the Xbox One exclusive uh, rolling out this month. Also available on PC and you can get it on uh, Steam and uh, GOG. I've gone for the GOG version of the game here. And, um, well, what can I say? It's a 1930s style game, you know, in the sort of theme of Betty Boo and that type of thing. Um, off the bat, it's a very fast loading game. Options, as you can see, are minimal. Uh, for PC guys, you know, you've got your keyboard and your controller set up. The game very much geared towards controller. I've played a, a, a fair bit of it. Not very well, I must add, because it's like a very hard game. <laughs> I will stress that. I went into this thinking this was a, an old school, easy shooting sideways scroller. No, this game is rock solid. If you want a challenge, jump into Cuphead. It is that hard. Okay. So we, uh, we get a bit of story here as you go into the game. Uh, basically, it tells you why Cuphead um, has, has got to do what he's got to do. And it's all about um, collecting souls as bounties. Okay, He sells his own soul off in a casino. And to redeem himself and possibly get let off the hook, he has to go and hunt other souls that have fallen. Not as easy as it sounds, believe me. Very, very, very difficult. So if we just squip, skip forward, squip skip forward to the game and uh, let's have a look at some of this okay so this is your if you like hub area which connects all the levels together um little cuphead guy here who at the moment as you can see is solo but you can play co-op um on the same on the same display the only trouble is it does actually get more difficult it seems to uh, level it up even harder than it is already and believe me it's very difficult like i was saying earlier so i wouldn't advise co-op it's actually better on your own to try and do this um you've got to unlock uh, all these different levels first and also there's boss battles now boss battles can be done uh, on a, a normal regular setting or an easier setting however to complete the game and finish the game with the end boss you need to have completed all the other bosses and levels at the regular setting so it's not really worth going for the easy option on the bosses you might as well you know bite the bullet first time and go through it because my god it's hard when i first jumped in this was the first time i played it what you're watching here i was hopeless Lord. i kept dying you get like three lives really bad i mean uh, i haven't played a platformer in a very long time i must admit but wow this was hard now you do get bonus levels and for the bonus levels and actually in the game as you can see me collecting there you get coins to collect now the coins can be spent at the vendor which is like a weird pig character in a shop and obviously you can buy upgraded guns or pea shooters and stuff like that triple fires and, and what have you um obviously the more you do that the easier life's going to be but it's still really difficult the boss levels themselves don't just stay as a static boss either. The bosses actually change shape, they change form, they change their attack method on you, and it seems to be random. So if you think you're learning how the boss will, you know, sort of re respond to you, you know, you can think, oh yeah, next time I do this, I will go back and do it this way. No, it's random, so uh, you're a bit stuffed. Now that brings me on to one of my minor complaints for this game with the boss battles here's the boss battle and the only thing is you've got no meter telling you how damaged the boss is you have no idea at all how weak that boss is and when he's going to die only at the end do you find out like so little meter there showing you how far you've got now next time obviously you probably get further i didn't i actually got worse but still but that's it nothing in game so, you know, you could be going on for ages. Now, the other minor problem, um, as you can see here, we've got cards, yeah, to do upgrades and stuff like that to your guns. But it doesn't tell you how powerful each weapon is compared to other weapons. So you may be upgrading to a, a super deluxe wonder pea shooter instead of a normal pea shooter. But you don't know how much more damage you're going to do with it or compared to other weapons. So it's all a bit pointless, really. This being the vendor, you can see there, you've got some coins that you can spend and you can buy different bits and bobs to speed you up or an extra life or whatever. But you've got no way of knowing how much extra damage they're going to do. 
so it, it's quite you know an annoying grumble there i must admit don't get me wrong the game on xbox one being 1999 it's not a lot of money for the game but you've got to have a lot of patience like i was saying i can't stress how difficult this game is or how difficult i found the game to be um other than that my other grumble would be no fast travel so i mean it, lo it loads quick anyway but to get from level to level you've got to come back to this hub and then sort of walk the little guy up to the other end to where you're going to go so you, you know you can't fast travel and just select on a menu go to this one or this one you've got to actually come back to the hub but it does load really really quickly i mean instantly the game is a tiny install size um a few pc guys you can run it on a toaster i'm not even going to bother showing you stats about how much memory it's using it's just not worth it it'll run on pretty much anything with the graphics card you know it's uh, a niche game um with a select audience i am not that audience i don't like it there you go i've said it however it would appear looking at uh, steam reviews and stuff that the game is pretty well received um you know it's getting some pretty high ratings so going objectively ignoring the fact i actually don't like the gameplay of the game uh it's different so because it's different i'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10 i'm sure there's an audience out there i'm sure there's some of you guys are going to love playing cuphead i'm just sadly not one of them there is far too many games out there to be playing something for the sake of it you know time's precious guys play the games that you want to play what you like that's my review seven out of ten go buy cuphead if you like it available on xbox one and pc no word of a ps4 release as such and i doubt there will be okay thanks for watching and bye for now